yeah. So that's true. You, you got it. You know, but what about the good entities, though? We never, you know, this is related to another topic you were talking about in this channel here about um, negative dark entities and white entities. How, and we, um, we know what a good entity feels like. They make you feel good. They make you feel warm inside. They make you feel relaxed. Um, they don't mean harm to you. They really just are just trying to, of course, focus on, um, you know, at least trying to live their lives. But they try to be respectful of other people. This is dark entities that cause the, the consternation. It's not the light ones. Yeah. True. Uh, I guess there's... Can you come up with any other questions? Because I'm almost out of them. Um, oh, yeah. And this is a question I was asked also of uh, Abigail and Brittany Hensel as well. This question um, was asked of us. When the day comes and you both expire, um, are you going home together? Yes, we are. We're going to be going home together because... We are a couple, and we love each other very much. Yes, we are going home together. And then we are walking out of this body, holding hands and kissing. And we're not going to, we're not going to worry about, you know, staying behind to watch all the, um, all the, the phony baloney going on about the pomp and the circumstances of our passing away. We're going home because we know that it's when we are truly free. Yeah. And another question that came up is, what if one of you has a stroke or some kind of a traumatic brain injury and the other, and the other is forced to stay? Would one of you, would that person take over the life of the other and try to pretend that that, that person, no. Because we've decided we're not going to do that. So if my part of my brain is damaged, I'm not going to pretend. Lemmy's not going to pretend she's me. And likewise, it was Lemmy's part of her brain that was damaged. I'm not going to pretend I'm Lemmy. And um, another question that comes up is, is you know, how will, the, how will the loss of one affect the other? Uh, I guess the closest understanding would be is, is like a married couple that have been married for you know, you know, 50, 60 years and, and the one dies and the other is like totally beside themselves because the person that they have loved and lived with for all those years is gone um, from their lives in an active role. And so it would be definitely a tragedy because I think it would hurt me. It certainly would um, make my life much more difficult because without Lumi's, you know, loving, protecting, you know, entity energy, I've always, you know, um, I always probably would feel very vulnerable um, to being hurt again. Yeah. Um, next question comes up is, um, is Michelle as a North American Star Queen? And near her liege, and Michelle dies, and you die. Who takes over the role of North American Snow Queen? Um, I want to train an apprentice to a, a young, a young person. It doesn't have to be a girl; it could be a boy too. Because I've always been very open-minded, you know. You know, just like with the California um, new law that was passed for uh, the public schools. Um, I kind of want to do the same thing, which is as I'm open-minded to a young boy or girl being an apprentice um, to learn under my tutelage uh, how to be a Snow Queen so that when the day comes um, and I do go home with Lumi, is that there'll be someone to carry on the role. So in other words, that person would be guaranteed to, um, as long as they pass muster with mother, they can... Um, continue on the um, the work that is ahead of us, and we have we have done as as snow queens and the stewards. Um, we have already made a major change in a positive way, 
at both the amount of Arctic sea ice and in as well as um, several changes that happen to the Earth now. This is, uh, it's not, you know, in less than two years, um, the North American, our Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere stewards um, have made major inroads towards um, putting, bringing the planet back into balance. And I think that that is a wonderful thing that we have done. And I, I, I know that there's going to be a lot of people who have asked um, me if, you know, what, what is our future plans? And does ego sometimes kick in? Uh, ego does kick in. Unfortunately enough, it happened to Alexander Volskolov, uh from the Russian Federation. He was discharged from being a weather steward of the Russian province of region because of his attitude. Even though he was the most highly skilled and highly, highly talented meteorological candidate, he had went to the university and he studied meteorology and atmospheric conditions. He was probably the most trained of all of us. And now it's uh, uh, Tanai Rojenko that is now, which was his ex-girlfriend, that is now taking on the role of uh, stewardess of the Russian Federation region. Um, I don't think she calls herself Snow Queen. No, she doesn't. Uh, um, Frija Somason, however, is considering title of, of uh, Snow Queen, European Snow Queen, although she's still not sure because of the way Hans Christian Andersen turned it, created the story if she feels comfortable with the title. But uh, she said that after we, she seen what we've done, um, she said to me, he said, I think you two have demonstrated to me that you can be better than what Hans Christian Andersen was talking about. And I, th I think, think it's important. I, I think we need to talk about the Hans Christian Andersen tale just a briefly bit. We've talked about it before on my channel in the past. What Hans Christian Andersen was trying to say in that fairy tale was twofold. Okay, and some of the stuff that he did was very carefully uh, written into the stories. Some are very clear, some of them are not so clear. In this case, he's talking about a woman um, that clearly the power had gotten to her head, um, where she felt that she was um, su ruled supreme, um, and she was beautiful and she was vain and she was extremely uh, selfish. So you got this person, this is almost a little like Alexander Wolskloff. It did, in fact, that's the reason why he was discharged, because mother felt that we didn't need to have this kind of Russian boar running around and uh, taking attitude saying that basically is I am the top dog and you're nothing but, you're nothing but t doggy treats to me. Um, so he was discharged uh, from being crowned or uh, point or doing his function. So there was some um, that case. That's really what um, Hans Christian Andersen was trying to say. You don't have to be evil to be a snow queen. I don't think that there's any reason why there's any evilness necessarily responsible for the job. You can be. I mean, think of what the robber the robber girl was and her mother. Uh, which represents autumn okay the robber girl represents um she takes from summer and but then she doesn't get any of it either because you no know, because winter takes it all i don't know does it sort of because winter snows cover everything and so yeah you can see she takes it all and the frustration the robber girl feels like she's not getting nothing because yeah, you know, she's stuck in between two seasons. One that everybody lives great and everybody's happy, and then the other one where everything's cold and dead. And uh, you know, so there's a lot of you know angst in her heart because of the reason. But I think too is that is the reason why Mother has pointed out to me and Lumi is I can find people for spring easily. I can find people for summer without a problem. But autumn and winter, I just can't seem to find 
qualified candidates. For some reason, the herd isn't in it. You gotta remember, she, my mother chose is looking. A mother, mother's looking for. Her. She's looking for people who want to do these seasons. It's not an. It's not like, okay, I'm gonna make this snowstorm. I'm gonna be this, you know, this way. Um, she's like looking for people that actually love doing this stuff. Yeah, and uh, that's a big difference. That is a very big difference. So, you know, mother has been very. Uh, specific on what she was looking for and she hasn't really found too many candidates um, that would be a good backup in case uh, the weather stewards quit or resign you by the way that's another thing yes you can quit if you do you can abdicate your throne but or your role but if you do that obviously um, it would be much easier if you could find someone to take over the role because otherwise it really messes up the way things are done. You know, right now we still have a couple of people that are taking on like set several roles right now, which um, you want to talk about that? Yeah, there's a um, there's a few stewards. Uh, Joey in Brisbane, Australia, is actually doing spring, summer, and autumn, but he refuses to do winter. Okay. There has not been a winter weather steward for Australia, New Zealand at this point. So, um, which is kind of funny because their winter is our summer. So some people said, well, don't you become the North, North American snow queen, snow queen in the South and Australia, New Zealand snow queen. And the truth is, is I'm not interested in that kind of because it's just too much to handle. Um, in fact, Mother Alison originally had come to me um, a couple of years ago and said to me, would you like to do all four seasons? And I said, no, I do not want all four seasons. I do not want spring. I do not want summer. And I, I might do autumn on occasion, but I am not really interested um, in doing all four seasons. It's just too much to handle. you gotta, you got to remember, uh, when you're snorkeling, you have to do all these different things to make the weather work. There's a lot of planning uh, uh, spell casting uh, as a sorceress you need to know how to, all of those five elemental energies work but you also have to know um, if the um, you know the weather is going to be for the you know it takes a while it takes a long time to play the storm most people don't realize that I mean if you break wind for example you don't realize that you're you're breaking wind for example, could result in it being a snowstorm 100 miles away. It's that's how complicated it gets because there's a lot of loose variables that can affect whether in the long term and the short term. Um, so, if you're good at one thing, I'm good at winter. I love winter. I, I love the snow and the cold and the ice, and and it makes me feel good. And you know it's. To me, it's, it makes me happy. And I know part of the reason is because I've always enjoyed winter as a kid. Because in, of all my life's winter time was always a time of great happiness with Yule and, and of course, New Year's. And, um, and of course, even though it's really autumn, I, I do look forward to um, American Thanksgiving and Samhain. And um, it is just, it's just... You know, of course, my birthdays in February is his Lummies. Yep, we I celebrate my birthday on the 11th. Michelle celebrates hers on February 13th. Yeah, two days apart. So we got. I mean, we look at Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. You know, uh, llamas, uh, candle mass, candle mass. Oh yeah, you got. We got a couple of holidays and. Winter time is very special to us, and um, and so all these um, days, you know, make are, make my season special to me, and it makes me feel happy and comfortable and all warm inside. So yeah, I love winter because of that reason. But I also love winter because I love the snow. I love looking at it. I like touching it. I enjoy laying in it. She loves rubbing it in her body. Yeah, uh, Lexi will go out in the snow naked. Um, 
I enjoy just having that privilege to do that. And um, it's just a wonderful thing, you know. Well, I think it's getting late, and I think we need to wrap it up. I think you're right. I think this is getting a little late. But let me just remind every single one of my users, please do not forget, if you have any questions, I would like to hear them. Comments, concerns, what have you. And please do subscribe to my channel. Michelle will be putting this on Facebook for you. Facebookers, see, please realize that this is a transcribed channel video. Um, my video channel is not Michelle's channel. They are different channels. That's right. Lumi has you a tiny URL, which makes getting it easier. Right. It is. I'll give it HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.tinyurl.com forward slash L-U-M-I-F-I-N-I-S-T-R-A and hit enter and you'll be right here. And uh, when you're when I'm watching this video, you can click on the subscribe key and um, and you always will be able to find it when you're log on to your YouTube page. Wonderful choices, wonderful videos out here uh, for you to uh, explore. And likewise, um, you know, I hope that people continue to subscribe to my channel too. I know I've been doing pretty good. Yes, you have. You've been kicking ass. I've been kicking ass. Um, but regardless, if you got questions, we want to know the answers. We'll take the time to look it up if we don't have any answers. Right. And um, and so, in short, in summary, is me and Michelle live in the same physical body. This is a female body with some male attributes, um, which I control. Michelle controls the feminine. It sounds like something out of the, um, out of the uh, what was that? Did he show their outer limits? I control the masculine and I control the feminine. Do not attempt to adjust your body. We are in full control. <laughs> we are in full control. And so, as I said, please, you know, let us know if you get any questions, okay? And we'll answer them. Um, I'm going to be focusing more or less on the, relig the spiritual angle. Because that's what I like studying and Michelle will continue to focus on um, her work as a North American Snow Queen as well as day by day issues and technology issues too. Technology. Um, so, you know, that's the reason why we're going to do it that way. It works out easier. Because, you know, we do, we study, the, we, we talk about the things that we specialize in and that we, have com we feel comfortable with in our comfort zones. So, talk to you soon, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.